Public Service Commissioner Julie Fedorchak is now a Republican candidate for North Dakota's sole congressional seat. Fedorchak made her announcement last week. Our political reporter Justin Gick talked with her today and he joins us now. Justin. Yeah, Monica, Fedorchak has been the subject of a lot of speculation. At one point, there were rumors that she might run for governor, and can, she confirmed that to me today, that this was something that she considered. Instead, Fedorchak is looking to bring a conservative, common-sense perspective to Washington. Julie Fedorchak got her start in politics right out of college working as communications director for then-governor Ed Schaefer. After Schaefer retired, Fedorchak went out on her own for 10 years with her own communications business. As time went on, she says she began to miss public service and then raised her hand and posed a question to Senator John Hoven. And said, hey, you interested in, um, in uh, any help in the state? And he said, absolutely, could use you. He had just been elected. So I was hired as his state director. Did that for a couple of years. Fedorchak continued her role in public service, being appointed by Governor Jack Darrymple to fill the open spot on the Public Service Commission. She has been elected three times to that role, totaling 12 years. Fedorchek says that, along with her role as president of the National Association of Regulatory Utility Commissioners, are what made her want to run for Congress. One of my main um, motivations for running for Congress is to take the in-depth knowledge I have about our energy systems and energy industry and bring that to Washington and apply that to the federal policies that are really having a huge impact on the energy systems. Fedorchek is running on an extensive list of issues. However, there are two that are most important to her. The two things are really the energy policy and the debt. It'd be easy and it's tempting and I hear from people all the time, they're losing hope. And it's easy to lose hope when you're $34 trillion in debt and you just see it mounting year after year. Fedorchek also says she is looking to change the atmosphere on the Hill if she is elected. I'm not interested in becoming a social media star. I'm not interested in becoming a celebrity, nationwide celebrity on Fox News or any channel. I really want to just get to work, and find others like me uh, to get to work, even if we don't have the same ideas. If she is elected, Fedorchek says she will be ready to serve on day one. But for now, she will continue focusing on her campaign and meeting with North Dakotans. I also asked Fedorchek if she has spoken to Senator John Hoven about a possible endorsement, and she said that she would expect that something would be coming from him in the future in terms of his endorsement of her campaign. Monica? All right, thanks a lot.